Tonight we're taking a close look at Long Island's roller coaster real estate market. Home prices are trending down a little as interest rates continue to climb, kind of a lot. Our Kevin BC joining us in the studio. So what does this mean that that game for buyers and sellers? Well, Doug, I mean, after watching Long Island's real estate market really take off like a rocket for more than a year, prices are finally starting to come down. But with mortgage interest rates at 20 year highs, some buyers say their dream of owning a home, well, that could still be out of reach. I thought that by, by now, it's a better, but it doesn't get the has been trying to buy a house for the last year and a half, but after home value skyrocketed, she found herself priced out. Now she's facing a new foe. Mortgage interest rates just under 7% the highest we've seen since 2002. The interest rates are going up too quickly, and I think there's still people, you know, definitely still going over asking price. It's pretty crazy to me. But prices are starting to ease, at least a little bit. According to one key MLS, Long Island's median home price in September was $625,000. That's down from 639,000 in August. Are the rates higher? Yes. But the buyers also are not paying $75,000, $100,000 over list price. Associate real estate broker Anthony Parada with Signature Premier Property says house hunters can use those higher interest rates to their advantage. It's now shifting in favor. I'm working with a lot of buyers that are kind of just getting like reactivated into the market. And they're realizing that they don't need to make a decision like that. They don't need to compete against 15 offers. Meanwhile, Stephanie will keep looking for her dream home. But first, she'd like to see prices come down a little bit more. Well, I'll still go out there and try, um, but I won't get my hopes up. I've already been heartbroken several times. And even though home prices are down a little from month to month, they're still about 4% higher than they were a year ago. And of course, those interest rates are much higher. So, Doug, as we just saw, it's still yeah. really tough for people out there. Yeah, I think the advice changes month to month, but what's the current advice now? So keep in mind that the house, the, the price that you pay for your home, that is a permanent price. The interest rate, though, uh, that doesn't necessarily have to be. So if you can buy at a good price right now, you could always refinance down the road. Doug.